this is for a bag of Lego figures. The bag is in good condition, so now we're going to open it. Okay, there's a piece of cardboard. Nothing left inside the bag. You know why there's a cardboard. It comes with the manual and the cloth or the cake. This is the part for the saber. The plastic is not very clear. The back looks a bit dirty, it's not clear. But it doesn't look like it's been opened before. Mm, so far so good, we have to install it, assemble it and see whether it's complete or not. Okay, the set has been assembled. Just a reminder, this is the copy of the LEGO set number 75117. This is called the KSZ606. So this is basically a one-to-one -one copy in terms of design. As you can see here, it can it is very poseable. I have it here in a very low attack position. So the design in terms of the pieces, uh, articulation is exactly the same as the original one but there is differences in the quality so I will show you where the differences are now the first one is the material of the cape so the Lego one is more like a cloth whereas this is more like a piece of plastic sheet and because it came folded in the set I have not been able to straighten it out so you can see a crease where it is folded same as the front, the front piece is the same material shiny and plasticky another quality issue is the print on the helmet so the print on the helmet is slightly higher than it should be, it's not aligned You can see here inside the visor there is a bit of silver color so the print has shifted up. The lines on the forehead are supposed to be inside this thicker part but it has gone all over the place. It has all these design patterns on the side here. The only concern like I said is the print has shifted upwards. The next shoe is the saber part. So I've seen some photos online and the saber, the hilt of the saber is supposed to be more of a silverish grey colour. Whereas in this set is is they included a dark grey piece, so it looks kind of dull. Alright. Another issue with the print is on the torso. The torso of the figure. where the print is also not aligned properly it's a bit lower than it should be you can see example here this area has been printed on this part and example here you can see the belt is not aligned in the middle of the belt area is slightly lower than it should be well the print design and quality is okay it's just that the alignment is not that great and finally, the issue I have is the quality of the plastic. So the plastic is not as good as the original one. That is to be expected. After a few poses and bends, you will see a lot of stretch marks on the joints. On all of the joints. On the legs, on the elbow joints, on the legs, on the feet, on the arms. So what happens is, as this cheaper plastic material tends to stretch out, the, the ball joints become looser and eventually you will have a hard time to pose the figure because it doesn't tend to hold the position of the joints. Alright, so that's all for my review of the 
Kylo Ren figure. Thanks for watching.